In this video, we're going to take a look at two ways we can organize our gradebooks. This is through taking advantage of the sort feature of the Infinite Campus gradebook and understanding what the sequence option is for an assignment. The sort feature allows us to do just that. Sort the grades in your gradebook. You can sort by category, sequence, and date. So let's take a look at each one. Now, to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our sort options. So you're going to click over here where it says sort, and then you're going to see we have three different sort options. We can sort by category, we can sort by sequence, and then we can sort by date. Select any of these items to adjust how your grades are going to be displayed for you. So right now I have category selected. If I close this. I'm going to see I have my formatives listed first, and then I have my summative. If I sort by sequence, then I'm going to have all my sequence here for sequence number one, those assignments over here, sequence number two, four, etc. moving up. And then if I sort by date, naturally, we're going to see our grades sorted by the due dates. And here I started at August 22nd, all the way through September 13th. Now, the priority is by these main um, items that we have here. So we can sort by category, that's gonna take the priority for the filter or the sorting, um, and then sequence, and then due date. Secondary to this, if I were to select category, we sort all the assignments by the category first, and then we go into the sequence, and then finally the date and the long name. For sequence, we sort primarily by the sequence number and then the date and then Infinite Campus then looks at the long name. And then sorting by the due date primarily sorts by the date that the assignment is due, the sequence number, and then the long name. Keep in mind here for at least category and due date, sequence does take uh, the next priority. Okay, so now let's talk about the sequence number. So the name sequence tells us that we can order the assignments in a sequential order. This is definitely the case here, as for all of the sword items, th that sequence number is the highest priority that Infinite Campus will take into account second only pretty much to your primary sort option that you select. So for example, as I said earlier, if you were to sort by category or date, the sequence would be the next item taken into account. However, what I want to show you next is a unique and possibly inventive way to look at the sequence numbers. And that's to actually group similar assignment types. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? If you could group all of your labs, homework, Achieve 3000, or anything else you would like to, you know, pretty much keep together, well, with the sequence numbers, all you have to do is think of a numerical code for these groups. So for example, here, I have my um, class assignments, these are really my in-class assignments, um, they're grouped together for sequence one. Um, let me actually go here to sort, let me change this to sort by category. So now you'll see I have my formative sorted here and then I have my summative at the end. But here it's nice because then it'll look at my sequences. So my sequence one, um, these three items here, these are my CA0, CA1, CA2. Those are my in-class assignments over here. So I, I pretty much made all my class assignments sequence one. Then for my homework assignments, all homework goes under sequence two. Achieve 3000, I put those under sequence 4, and then my district assessment I put as sequence 5. So this is great if you really want to sit there and then group all of your um, different types of assignments. And this has been something that a lot of people have been asking us about, and um, we've been digging around in there, and then I think this is a good way to look at sequence. Not only in terms of like, what's the next assignment? you know, in line, but also in new ways, such as grouping assignments. So basically, you get these codes to line up with how you would like to organize your grades, 
and you'll be able to filter your views like a pro in no time. Hope this helps, and if you need any additional help or resources, reach out to your ICE-Ts or Austin Instructional Technology and we'd be glad to help. Thanks.